Hey there guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to build this super easy PVC swing for your bird. So if that's something you guys are interested in seeing, you want to make sure to stick around because that's going to be coming up right after this. <music> This is Jack over at Hi Red Bird, where I am tirelessly working to find new ways to make the keeping of exotic animals and pets more exciting, more affordable, and ultimately more enjoyable. And in today's video, I wanted to show you guys how I built this reasonably inexpensive and relatively easy PVC swing for a parrot. I like to provide my animals a variety of different enrichment opportunities, and for my birds especially, I like to provide them things that encourage them to exercise, to move around in their enclosures. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do, but I do like to hear from you guys as well. What are your favorite types of enrichment that you like to provide your animals? Uh, if you have something that you prefer to give your animals, let me know. Put a comment down in the comment section down below uh, because I think it benefits everybody to know what all we're providing for our animals, the different ways that we stimulate them. Uh, and I think a lot of people can see suggestions like that and come up with new ideas to help better care for their animals. Um, so by leaving a comment, you know, you help this video, but you also help other people take better care of their animals, which I think is an excellent thing. Now, this PVC swing is incredibly easy to build. Uh, you can put this together, honestly, in a matter of minutes, um, but then it will provide your bird hours of entertainment and enjoyment. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into how we're going to be putting this together. All right, guys, now the materials you're going to need to put this together are relatively straightforward. And if you've built any of the other PVC toys or stands that I've shown you guys, you probably have most of the materials on hand already. I am gonna be starting with a piece of PVC non-metallic electrical conduit. You can get this in the electronic section of most hardware stores. Uh, it does come in set lengths. So this is actually a scrap piece that I have from the orb that I showed you guys how to build. This is half inch PVC non-metallic electrical conduit. I am using a length that is about three feet long. And to give you guys an idea, your overall swing will end up being about a third the size of this conduit. So this swing is gonna end up being about 12 inches across. You could always make it bigger if you wanna modify it for your bird, but I wouldn't really recommend making it much smaller than that because if you do, you're gonna be almost fighting the PVC to get it into the fitting. We are going to need corresponding fitting. So I have a T fitting, it's gonna be a slip fitting. It's sometimes also called a solvent fitting. Uh, it's that half inch as well, so it corresponds with that electrical conduit. We do need a slip end cap, uh, and we do need a small scrap piece of half inch PVC pipe. Here I'm using a piece that is about an inch and a half long. So when I say scrap, it really is a tiny little scrap piece of PVC pipe. In terms of the base conduit and the fittings, that is what you need for those materials. Um, but there are a couple of other pieces of hardware that we're going to need. We're gonna need a stainless steel eye bolt. Uh, we're also going to need a corresponding nylon threaded stainless steel locking nut. Uh, you wanna make sure that you use the locking nut because since a bird is gonna be on this, swinging around in this, if you use the normal nut that comes with a stainless steel eye bolt, What's gonna happen is over time, the bird will loosen that nut, uh, and one day the entire swing will crash to the ground if you don't use the nylon threaded locking nut. So please do yourself a favor, just go ahead and splurge and get that nylon threaded locking nut. Uh, now again, since this is going to be something that our birds are actively moving on uh, and there are very few points that are connected, uh, we're actually gonna be using some PVC cement for this as well. We're gonna use that to secure the electrical conduit to the fittings. We are also going to need a drill and a drill bit. Uh, now you want to make sure that your drill bit is larger 
than the shaft of your stainless steel eye bolt, but you want it to be smaller than the eye section of your eye bolt and smaller than your nylon threaded locking nut. If it's bigger than either of those things, the hardware is just gonna fall out. Um, and if it is not bigger than your stainless steel eye bolt shaft, you're gonna have a really hard time just getting that through the end cap because that's where we're gonna be attaching this. You are going to need a set of PVC cutters or a way to cut PVC. I mean, you can use something as simple as a hacksaw, but I definitely recommend using a pair of ratcheting PVC cutters. Um, you're also going to need something to hold the nut in place when you are tightening it. So something like a pair of needle nose pliers or a socket will work well. All right, now the first thing we need to do is give ourselves the ability to hang up this swing. So I'm gonna be starting by taking my PVC end cap and I want to drill a hole in the very end of it. If your PVC end cap is rounded, you want to make sure that you go pretty slow um, because your drill can easily slip off of an end cap. Uh, you wanna make sure that you use something to protect your table. Here I have a scrap piece of lumber that I use. Uh, that way, if the drill goes all the way through, it hits that lumber. It doesn't hit my dining room table. Uh, once I have that hole drilled, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna remove any of those small bits of PVC that uh, happen as you're drilling through the PVC. Then I'm going to go ahead and put my stainless steel eye bolt uh, facing out. Uh, the eye portion is what we're going to be hanging this up with. I want that nylon threaded locking nut to go on the inside of the fitting. I'll hand tighten it at first, but once that gets a little bit tricky, I'm going to go ahead, hold on to it with my needle nose pliers, and I'm going to just tighten the eye bolt by hand. Um, if that's still a little bit difficult for you, uh, another thing you can do is take something like a screwdriver, put that through the eye of the eye bolt, and that'll give you a little bit of added leverage. Just hold on with those needle nose pliers, turn it, and you are gonna be able to tighten this. You don't have to tighten it all the way down. You just wanna make sure that you have enough of a bite on that eye bolt that the nylon threaded locking nut is not going to come loose at all as your bird is moving around, swinging around on this toy. Um, you know, definitely check it out. Once you think you've got it tight enough, check to make sure that that is most definitely tight enough. You can hold on to the PVC fitting, pull on that eye bolt, just check to make sure that nothing is moving. Once you've got that finished, you can go ahead and put this swing together. We're gonna to be starting with our PVC T, our PVC end cap that we just modified, and that scrap piece of PVC pipe. Make sure that all of your PVC pipe, your conduit, and your fittings all coordinate in terms of size. It's gonna frustrate you to no end if you know one of your pieces isn't the right size. Now what I like to do when using the PVC cement, uh, the instructions will say to put it on both the inside of the fitting and the outside of the pipe before you push your pieces together. For parrot toys, I only like to use it on the inside of the fitting because when you push everything together, what, the, what will happen is any excess PVC is just going to be pushed further into the fitting. It won't create a bead on the outside that your animal could potentially pick at. Now we are going to need to give this at least 24 hours to dry before we give this to our bird. But once you have that top bracket done, it really is as simple as pushing that PVC conduit into both sides of the T fitting. Now you guys can see why I recommend going no smaller than three feet, uh, any smaller and you will be wrestling this. If you went bigger, it would be even easier to put together. But you guys can see that does come together in a matter of minutes. So it is honestly one of the easiest toys you can make. All right, guys, and that's really all there is to it. Uh, the only other thing you're going to need, you're gonna need a quick link to attach your swing to whatever you're going to be attaching it to, whether it's a play gym inside your bird's cage. Uh, but this really is a easy project that if you have even the most basic DIY skills, you should have no problem being able to build this in an afternoon. Uh, your bird should enjoy this immensely. So if you found this video helpful, go ahead, just give the video a thumbs up. It helps other people find these videos, find these instructional tutorials. Uh, 
If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, you wanna make sure to do so because I put together a ton of educational content for taking care of a variety of different animals. Uh, that content is going to be coming out weekly. Uh, I do wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope to see you guys next time. I do need to say thank you to my Patreon patrons for helping to make these videos possible. You can find out more by visiting High Red Bird on Patreon or clicking the link in the description section down below if you would like more information. Thanks!